So today we're gonna to be painting up a brown trout lure. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing white and then we'll kind of go from there and talk about what's next. So now we have the white base coat on and now just like the other lure we did, uh, this fish is gonna have kind of a pearlescent white belly. I'm just gonna go from the tail down onto the body, just like that. We actually don't need to go too far over the sides of the bait. That's probably all we'll do. And the reason being is because there's some yellow on the sides of the brown trout. So we're just gonna do the belly, call that good. We always wanna go light colors to dark colors, but in this case, we wanna add some black to the back so that we can really get that true trout green at the very top of the fish. Most color palettes are based off of black and white. So if you go online to Createx or Wicked Colors, you can see what a color will come out like on a black background or on a white background. And so we need to add some black on the top here so that we can come out with the green that we're looking for for a trout. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. All right, so I've reduced my air pressure to about 25 PSI. We want to be deep in the middle, but we want the sides to have kind of a cascading effect. So what I'm going to do is start by going just down the middle of the bait, just like so. I don't want to add too much. I want to make sure I get kind of that even roll across the bait. So we'll start with that. We'll progressively darken up the middle of the bait. Not too dark, kind of like a, a grayish color. And just deepen up right around the eye and the snout there of the bait. That should be plenty. So what the next step is gonna be is adding the yellow to the bait. The brown trout has kind of that characteristic yellow that runs from tip to tail right along the underside, especially in more mature fish. Um, we wanna kind of enhance those colors on our bait anyway, even though maybe a smaller brown may not have that. Uh, it will help the fish in the water see those colors and they really react to that. Down to about 10 PSI on this color. And this is a transparent yellow. So we're gonna just kind of make it nice and light on the bait. You'll see it start to pop, but we don't want a ton on there. We do want to get up to the gray where it just becomes a little bit more yellow. Then we can focus on the bottom being a deeper, brighter yellow. Just kind of like that. So we have some yellow up here, but the bottom is the deepest and the brightest. Don't want to go too dark on that. Um, I would say that's probably about good right there. And we're using this detailed burnt orange that we used in the pike video. Um, great color. This is one that I would say you have to have. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add this to the side of the bait and give the brown trout his name. So uh, most of this is going to be just above that yellow line and into the black on the top. And we're just going to kind of fade down from the black that we painted. Just going right into the top of that bait. You'll see the brown start to come out. And that's what we're looking for right there. Not very far down and just enough. It's kind of like an orangish color. That's okay. That's kind of what we want it to look like right now. And do the same thing to the other side. All right, so once you have your bait kind of looking like Germany here, we are going to actually add some fluorescent yellow to the game. So this color, um, this is kind of the aha moment. We're gonna run this over the top black that we just did. Um, at the beginning of the video and this is going to turn that green color that you usually see on a trout So this is really going to kind of bring in the darker colors deeper colors of the trout Turn it the right kind of off green color and then once we add the spots on the side it will uh, really start coming to life So let's go ahead and add that back Important we don't spray too much as soon as you spray too much, then you end up having issues um, as far as the color getting too light. Brown trout's got mostly dark spots on the top of it, and then as it goes down the sides, those spots kind of are, are dark or red, but they have a white ring around them. So we're gonna go ahead and do the top spots first. So all I've done is taken black and a paper clip, and I'm just gonna kind of beat it on the back. So I'll show you that now. Kind of lightly speckle it. Add some dots on there. Bigger dots, smaller dots. This part doesn't have to be perfect. You're just giving it character. With this next step, you're gonna want something a little bit bigger than a paper clip so that your white spots will kind of ring around the black spots and red spots you'll put in the middle. We'll go ahead and add some dots. 
All right, guys, so we got our white and black dots on there. It's been heat set with a heat gun. So now we're gonna add in just a couple red and black dots kind of speckled throughout the bait. So I'll go ahead and start with red. There we go. Just have kind of a good spread of those as they go down the bait. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back and we're gonna do black. So same thing. So there's the completed paint on the bait. And all we have left to do now is add the eye, clear coat, throw on some hooks. Uh, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently this time. So I'm gonna actually use just like a super glue. And we've got our little eyes here. And so what I'm gonna do is just take the super glue and I'm actually gonna drop it into the eye socket. Just take your eye, kind of help it find its home there. You don't have to press too hard, just kind of gently, it's, it's perfectly fine. So you mix up this epoxy, and then once you've got it mixed up, you're just gonna apply it to your bait. All right guys, so here's the finished product. I think we came up with a pretty realistic brown trout bait that should work on most larger fish. If you guys have questions or comments, please leave them below, as well as suggestions for future patterns you'd like to see. And as always, if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thanks for watching CO Fish Pro today. Can you do me one favor before you leave and click this subscribe button right here, and then you can move on to this video right here. Welcome to CO Fish Pro the channel. My name is Chris Edlin, and we aim to take the mystery out of fishing. Or that one over there. Yes. Wow.